Right, so in this video what I want to do is go over the features of the Car Dealer Press plugin. I'm going to just kind of buzz through it real quick so you can see everything that's possible. We'll have additional videos that break down each of the individual components so that you can delve into it a little bit deeper when you're ready. So first of all I'm just going to go to the plugin and click on the, the MAME dash if you will. I've already got inventory set up and, and that's indicated by the feed status here. It essentially tells us which account is active and the information there. If you don't have inventory yet, you would go to the admin screen and add it on that section. Okay. So most of the meat of the Car Dealer Press plugin is under the settings tab. And from the settings tab, you, you can see that we have multiple tabs within settings. Okay. And you can choose things like number of vehicles you want to display per page, sales class filter if you want to only have used vehicles on a site. You can actually filter by new makes as well. And that comes in handy, let's say you have a dealer group and you've got multiple franchises. You want to share your used vehicles across all of your sites, but you can only have the, new, the specific new franchise vehicles per site. So you could have just Fords on one site, just Toyotas on another site, but then share your used across. And this allows you to do that. The no default image, this would be the image that would display if you have no dealer shots yet and don't have stock images put on the car. So coming soon photo it essentially is what that is. The company override information down here, you can actually change the phone number, the default phone number that pulls from BMS for new used. You can actually change your company name and do some SEO work here by changing the top level breadcrumb. Then we go into the themes. We've got five different inventory themes available out of the box. You can actually choose between style one and style two for the Armadillo. That's the only one that is that way. Essentially what that does is it moves the theme from or the, the image from the right to the left and back and forth. Okay. So I just went to the Bobcat theme and you'll see we've got essentially the same features for all of the themes. The standard equipment is exactly what it sounds like. It displays standard equipment pulled from a dat database based off of the VIN of the vehicle. It's not always 100% accurate. Again, it's just standard equipment. It was what that vehicle was supposed to have come with as standard when it was new. Tags, we have the ability to show visual tags or icons on the site and you can upload those and do some things with those as well. Geo search if you've got multiple dealers across multiple cities or you have some sort of auto mall type of a thing, you know, a, a local auto trader scenario if you will, you could actually display geo search. You could have it drilled down as, as deep as zip code. You can display similar vehicles. That is for the vehicle detail page. It'll show up to three similar vehicles based off of some logic we have in the back end. If you are a smaller independent dealership or just a dealership that does not use certified vehicles, you can actually hide the certified sales filter here. The video photo default, if you actually have videos on your vehicles, either with from a feed or you're uploading them onto YouTube and dropping the URL into our vehicle marketing system, then you can actually choose to have the video display first on the vehicle detail page. Okay. The, you, same with options and descriptions. If you're very good at having descriptions on all your vehicles, you'd probably want to have that tab first. List button info, this would be the, the button on the list page or the search list page that links to the vehicle detail page for either more info or see more of this car, however you want to display that. If you want to put a form on the list page, you can, and that also has the ability to put your, your information. It could be get more information, contact us now, whatever you want to do. We also have the ability to add custom gravity forms. All you do is you build your form, you drop your ID in here, and the form will show up either on the list or the detail page respectively. Loan calculator, either you turn it on, you turn it off, you can adjust the, the parameters within the loan calculator. We even have a bi-monthly cost for our friends up in Canada. It's a very common way to display it. You can even show the total cost after financing and down payments if you'd like. 
the price text. Depending on how you brand your prices, maybe you have no haggle pricing or something like that that you brand, and you'd like to have that on the label for pricing, you could actually do that. You could call it retail price, compare at, you know, this price, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You can say compare at or was, however you want to do that. And then you can say have your no haggle price here. Call for price is what will show up if the price is zero in our system. Of course, we don't want to say a car is worth nothing, so we would say call for price. You could have something else here. You know, call our internet department for the best price, however you want to put it. Tags, like I mentioned, tags are for having a visual representation of a tag. So if you've got a lot of vehicles that you've marked as special and you want to have a little icon next to them indicating that, you can do that. You can actually, if you click in here, you'll see you can actually create links from that icon as well. Okay, Forms, you can add gravity forms like we talked about before. And when you add gravity forms, you can actually pull the data off of the page from the inventory. So you could get the stock number and the year and the make and the model and all that kind of stuff and pass that through so that it goes into a CRM tool in an ADF fashion or just an HTML email, however you want to do that. Automalls is when you have multiple dealerships, once again, on the site that have you know, that the leads need to go to the respective dealer based off of the location of the vehicle. That, that's what this would be for. You can actually segment those and make sure that the routing is all taken care of. Scripts, if you have additional functionality that you want to add to the inventory and you want to add a JavaScript function, you can do so here. You essentially just upload it to a, a third ser third party server, either S3 or something to that effect. You can then drop the URL here, okay? Give it a name, to say if it's on the new, new or used, should it be in the header, should it be in the footer, tracking, what you know, whatever it is, you can actually put those external scripts into the page or into the inventory so that it loads appropriately, okay? And the same thing with styles. If you want to override any of the styles within our inventory themes that we currently have, all you have to do is go here and do the exact same thing. So you would copy the folders, the CSS folders that you want, and then upload those to an S3 or something similar, and then drop the URL here, and then just have it override so that it, it actually removes the current style. That way it loads faster and it's just a lot cleaner. Okay. There are other ways to add or create inventory themes. If you want to build your own entirely, including PHP functionality, we have an extender plugin for that for you as well. Make sure you contact us if you have any questions. So that's the overview of a car dealer press plugin. Again, I wanted to buzz through it really fast, give you a, an idea of the type of functionality that we've got involved in it. It's very well thought out. We've done this for years and built all the functionality based off the most request features uh, that we get from our dealers. So if you have any questions, contact us through the support at dealertrend.com or you know, fill out a ticket on our support.dealertrend.com page, and then we'll continue to add videos and information for you. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.